Hi everyone, David Maley, and today we're going to go over something really cool. I'm going to show you how to do this year and last year, or in other words, year over year uh, graphs and charts and data in Power BI. So we're going to—it's real quick and easy to do. So if you look at my data here, I have a um, table here I'm pulling in. The data is 2014 and 2015. Year over year, well, it's not, it's both 2014 and 2015 computer store sales, All right? So I have all of 2014 and all of 2015. So if I look at trips, if I put the date in, I've got it by day, and I put in the trips, it gives me the weekly. Well, actually, it's weekly, but that's fine. It gives me the trips or their transactions, the number of times they've been to the store. For every day and what I need to do is I want to have this year and last year if I take 2014 and 2015 together I have one big long graph I'll get I don't want that I want to be able to see this bottom graph here which is trips of this year or 2015 in this case and trips of last year which would be 2014 in this case so I want to see this because I can compare them one above the other all the way through the year and then see the what they really wanted to see here with this analysis, they want to see if their marketing efforts in the holiday season of the newer year, which is 2015, really played a role, which it did. So they want to see this right here. And they want to see that over the 2014 year where they didn't do the same amount of marketing blitz that they did this time. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to have two columns. See these columns right here, total trips and trips last year. We don't have either of those originally in our data. We have trips, sales, uh, you know, things like that, units, items that they purchase. But what we need to do is get total trips. So how do we get total trips? So let's go over here. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on this. So this is a new uh, calculation that we have to do. So you put total trips equals sum and then in this case the sheet is called 2014-2015 sales and we're taking the trips which is this guy right here which is in that data um, and we're going to put that in here so that's the sum of it so if you take this close this out click over here you look here it'll give me this see how it's the trips is this all the way through right and if we go all the way through it's basically the exact same thing as you would see with the trips but what we're going to do here is let me show you the trips last year so if we take this this is where we calculate the total trips but the with the same period last year now why did we have to when these two before I know everyone's gonna have this question if this is the same let me close this out here if this is the same as total trips why do we need to have both so let's take a look over here we have trips right and we have total trips the problem is you can't use a summation field in your calculation for the last year so you need to go and take that and remove it from that so what we have is this we have a sum of the trips and that gives us a calculated field instead which we will then be able to access and bring into this so if I don't do that and I were to do trips here, I wouldn't be able to see it in here. So if I were to do this and uh, let's say add in trips, see I, I can see the total trips, but I cannot see the trips. And that's the reason why. So you have to have, you calculate the total trips first. So let's go here. You're going to calculate this, which is just a summation of the trips. That's all it is, and it ends up being the same, but it's not really the same because it's a calculated field versus sum. And then we just go and do this, which is we calculate total trips, comma, same period as last year, the sheet 2014-2015 sales, and the date. So see that we're using the date for this part and the total trips for this part. See how that works? So total trips and not the trips works here. Once you do that, what happens here, if I pull this down for trips last year, is it takes this stuff for the trips of the 2014 year, and look what it does. It puts it here. See at 12849? That is the value from right here. 
and that's how you get year over year. So I've now got trips for last year in here, but see how they're mashed up against trips for this year. See that? So I can take now in this graph here, and let's open this up so you can see the visualizations here. And for the date, I can put trips uh, this year, which would be in this case 2015, and the last year, which would be 2014. And you have to have two different fields. That's how we did it here. See that? Trips and trips last year. And see how it shows here now? If I don't filter this correctly, watch. We have to use on this visual date after 2015. So that way we're only showing this and this. If we don't do that, what happens is we get the ones before it in there and the line goes out for the year prior. So we don't want to do that. So this way you have it filtered to 2015 above and then you have both data sets this year and last year up against each other. And you can easily show them here. Um, you can easily show them here. Uh, whatever you want to do. This is the full data. So this one is a little different. So if I move this this way and move this this way so you can see a little bit better. This is the, uh, let me move that this way. This is the full year, right? So you can see 2014 and 2015 in there. This one is both but up against each other and that's what we really wanted to see here. So again to do that all you need to do is have a date column your trips or sales or whatever it is you want to do year over year. Then you're going to do a total of that, which is very simple to do. You're just going to do uh, two calculated fields. And you, the first one may not be necessary if it is already a calculated field. If it's not, you're going to have to do that and get the total trips. If it was sales, the total sales, right? Sum of that. And then you have to have this, which would be your trips last year, which is just calculating total trips, comma, same period as last year, that's the function right here, and 2014-2015 sales date. And once you do that and put that in there, it's very easy to go and get this, which is really insightful and helps people to see you know, how they can compare one on top of the other. And right here you can clearly see their marketing efforts in uh, November and I'm not sure if it goes into December or not, but just the month of November. So they did for this computer sales parts, probably because of Thanksgiving, they wanted to boost sales and it obviously did boost sales a good bit. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and informational. Again, this is how to do year over year with any data that's got time and some kind of an element like sales, units, items, uh, could be any trips, whatever it is. Thanks again for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day.